boy, you want to talk about screwing the pooch, man. Carlos Tavares has to be the biggest imbecile in the entire history of automotive. You focused your entire company to do EVs. And even when the money, the money people, the, the number crunchers told you that you were going to lose $50,000 plus on every charger you built, you still went forward with it? That's dumb. For the longest time. Whoa. For the longest Yo. Percocet. Miley Percocet. Percocet. Miley Percocet. Repocet. Got a repocet. What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And, uh... I'm talking about this today on how much money Stellantis is losing on every single electric charger they built, they build, and have built so far. Kind of piggybacking on a video that I saw done by OC Motivator, and I'm going to tag him in the description down below, um, yesterday or day before yesterday, where he was talking about how much money Ford and some of these other companies lose on every electric vehicle they make. So I was like, I wonder how much money Stellantis loses. So I reached out to all of my executive contacts and said, hey, can you give me a ballpark on on how much Stellantis plans to make profit on these, ve- on these EV vehicles right away? Well, the first one emailed me back like really quick and said, uh, yeah, they're, th- with the tax credit being cut and the subsidies being gone, they could be losing upwards of seventy to $80,000. Now, th- now, that was the most extreme one I got back from one of my executive contacts. But the other ones were all around a consensus of around fifty to $60,000 of loss. So if we just take an average of those together, we're looking at a, 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 like a $60,000 loss on every single charger EV they're making $60,000 loss and if you're not getting any subsidies from the government or anything else to make those like I'm trying to make it compute in my brain why now I get it if you're making them for the carbon credits because you're going to continue to make gas stuff but remember Tavares was going full EV. So were you intentionally trying to bankrupt the company? Or were you hoping that the government was going to subsidize all of your cars and you were basically going to be government motors for for Europe and the United States? Because looking at these numbers and how much money you're losing. I mean, I, I, I imagine how much money they're losing on the Wagoneer S. Now we know why, not just because of the technology issues and the other crap that's going on with the Ram 1500 REV, but they're probably pausing it because if they're not getting the money from the government for it, they're going to lose their ass on that Ram 1500 REV. I mean, think about it. You're losing 60 grand on every electric charge you make. What are you losing? 70, 80,000 on a Wagoneer S? What are you losing on a Ram? A hundred? Like, damn. I don't know how this was ever a feasible. I don't know how you sat in a board meeting knowing that you already knew these numbers when it was pro EV. Now that you, now I know why you're, now, now, like it completely computes in my brain. Now I know why Stellantis is in a complete and utter panic. Yeah, we know why you're making gas chargers now. Because you know you're going to lose money on every single EV you build. And not even to the point where it's just a little bit. Now you're going to lose a lot. And that's not good. It's not good for your shareholders. It's not good for you as a company. And now we know why John Elkin and and the board are asking input from other executives from like Jeep and and, and Chrysler and and the like 
on what should we do moving forward because they don't care what Carlos was talking about because he made these imbecile, just absolute, just crazy decisions that could put Stellantis on the verge of bankruptcy. If they, if they continued, like if they were to say, F it, we don't care who the new president is, we're just going to keep doing this, they would be bankrupt before summer. No doubt in my mind. If you're losing that much money on every unit you're making, that's why, that's why I was like, how are you only making 10 electric chargers a day? How are you only making 10 electric charger Daytonas a day? Because I know, I mean, I guess I understand EVs can take, it could be a little bit of a pain in the ass to assemble, but only 10? Well, yeah, I know why now. It's costing you $600,000 in loss every day you run that electric charger line. 600 grand. Whoo. God. You really got to believe in what you believe in to do that. I just, I can't believe it. Wow. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's as insane as I think it? I think it's absolutely insane. Would you, if you were at a business, would you continue to make something that you lost 60 grand on? Really? Wow. I don't know. Me? Not, no chance in hell am I doing that. But I have common sense. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give the video a big thumbs up if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, stay petty, my friends.